It's a hot real estate market and selling your house fast is as easy as one, two, three, until the buyer brings his home inspector in. I'm Sphere Popolevsky with Supreme Home Sales and as a Staten Island Realtor, I love helping you navigate the home selling process. I'm so happy you're watching this video because today I'm going to let you in on some home inspection tips for sellers to help you minimize the issues that may arise in the home inspection and help you avoid home inspection obstacles that kill deals right after this. Welcome back to my channel. Do me a small favor, hit the like button, consider subscribing. I come back here every Monday and help you navigate the home selling process. This real estate market is yours. If you are currently selling or thinking about getting your house ready to be sold, it's probably going to sell really quickly. It is a seller's market out there. Everybody knows that. It will sell quick. It will sell with multiple offers. And most likely it will sell for a lot more money than your actual list ask price. And then the buyer will bring a home inspector whose job is to find something wrong with your house. We want to keep the final sale price of your house at the same number that you accepted an offer with. So let's tackle and get ready together for this home inspector. There are plenty of things that the home inspector can find, but the ones that we are worried about are the deal breakers. Let's start from the bottom and work ourselves up. If you happen to have a basement, whether it's finished or not, cracks in the foundations are a huge, huge issue. That might be indication that there's water coming in from the ground through the cracks in the foundations and possibly sometimes there's even evidence of water. If you have a sump pump, the sump pump should be in working condition. If that's the case, it would be pumping out the water without any problems and you shouldn't have any water in the basement at all. The deep cracks in the foundation may raise a red flag and it might scare a buyer. You also want to keep a humidifier in your basement to make sure that there's ventilation. Open windows from time to time, let the air flow in and out. What can you do to make sure that cracks in a foundation is not going to be a red flag and it's not going to scare your buyer away? Get a professional to come in and assess the situation. If there's an indication that it's serious, maybe a deal breaker, get that repaired by a professional. Water and mold not only is a deal breaker, mold is really hazardous to your health and living in the house, you don't want to live around mold. Do not cover the mold with paint. You really need to do a really good job to get rid of it professionally. Getting rid of mold is a big deal. It requires to remove the sheet rock Currently, where it's infected with mold, removing the insulation, cleaning out all the beams that are behind the walls, installing new insulation, installing new sheetrock, painting, or especially if you know that you had water damage at some point, this is a good time for you to, to start taking a look at those things and keep the space as dry as possible. You don't want to find out that you have mold issue at the time of a home inspection. Mold is also foundable in all wet areas like your bathrooms, showers, bathtubs, all of these have to be inspected. Start looking at those things. I did a video about what fixes are mandatory after a home inspection. You can watch that right up there after you finish watching this video. The next big item is leaky roofs, missing shingles. Leaky roofs, really a big scare to buyers as well. That's an indication that a huge amount of money or a large start of money is gonna have to be spent on either replacing the roof entirely or making corrections. So if you had a leaky roof, 
and you have stains on the ceilings, if you repair the roof already, take some time, get somebody to do a nice ceiling repair and paint. If you have old stains on your ceilings, even though you don't have any problems with the roof, maybe you already replaced the roof, but those stains are a turn off. It indicates that there was a previously a problem. A buyer may feel uncomfortable. They may feel that something's being hidden. It's just better to do that instead of dealing with explanations that, oh yes, I had a roof leak before and now it's fixed. Just, just get it done. These are huge, scare buyer away, kill the deal and you're gonna have to start all over again. If you are looking to get top dollar for your property and wanna sell for the highest price possible, if you want more money, the house is gonna have to be in this kind of a condition. Of course, everything is going to reflect into what kind of a number you're gonna get, how much you're gonna get in the end as net proceeds. I think you should watch whatever YouTube thinks you should watch next. And I will see you next Monday. Thanks for watching.